come and say, I love you. I love you, Ya Rasulullah. It's not an easy decision. It is not something that comes like this. La, love is so profound. But Umar radiallahu anhu realized that this deen is about love of Allah and his prophet. He says, Ya Rasulullah, I love you. In every, in the heart of every human being, and there is love for the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam intrinsic in the heart of every human being. Now you might say you're exaggerating. Muslims are 1.5 billion around the world. And I understand that all Muslims love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and loving the messenger of Allah is intrinsic in the hearts of all Muslims. How come that Loving the Messenger of Allah, the seal of all prophets, Sayyidina Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is intrinsic in the heart of every human being. This one states, you love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam too much, alhamdulillah, jazakum allah khair. To those that are in his presence, in a gathering of this sort, that one of our statements of our Prophet is, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that he says that, man dhakar fi nafsi, dhakar fi nafsi, that whoever mentions me in his self, I will mention him. And whoever mentions me in a group, I will mention him in a mala. I will mention him in a group that is even greater than that group. And that we find this continuously through our deen, this whole idea of being medkul, this whole idea of being mentioned in the presence of our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is something we should all be desiring. This is something they said about the great Imam al Prophet Muqaddam, Muhammad bin Ali Ba'alu. And they also actually first mentioned this about the way he said. He turned towards the man and placed his hand upon the man's chest. A breast that is filled with hatred and rancor and conceals a dagger. وضع يده على صدره يقول فضالة فوالله فضالة said at that point I swear by Allah لقد وضعها وليس على وجه الأرض رجل أبغض إلى قلبي منه when he placed his hand upon my chest there was no man upon the face of the earth more hated to my heart than him and he did not remove his hand from my chest except there was none more beloved to me upon the face of this earth than him And when the angels were brought to him, the angels that controlled the mountains, the mountains were five uh, lanes, so the five lay between two mountains. And the angels that controlled the mountains were brought to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to take revenge with what they have done for you, what they have done to you. And the Messenger of Allah said, I have been sent as a mercy to people, not as someone that will cause harm. And I hope that they too will become Muslims and believe in me, which took place. And we got five now, for example, and it's all believers. It is in the mu'jizat of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. His foresight, his forbearance for people, but more so this attribute of tazkiyah. The Messenger of Allah purified people. And he at the end of times, out of loving Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Let's learn loving Rasulullah from Sayyidina Isa. What is the good news? Do we talk about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa as our good news? But not only that, Isa alayhi salam, when the whole lot of all the people are there, and they say, you are Nabim Rasul, please lead the salah. He says, no, I do not want to lead. And there is a grandson, not Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa himself. La, 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 la. A grandson of Rasulullah al-Mahdi alayhi salam. No, I will not lead the salah. And there is a grandson from Muhammad, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa He leads and I become muqtadi with him.